Hello, thank you for spending a few minutes with me. Today I'm going to talk about not losing heart and having a spirit of faith. We live in a time and a season in the world where a lot of people are fainting, growing weary, losing heart. So I want to read out of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 8 and 9, and then verse 13. And it reads this way, We are hard-pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, not forsaken, struck down, not destroyed. We have a spirit of faith according to as it is written, I believe and therefore I speak. We also believe and therefore speak. You know, there are four things that the Apostle Paul identifies as coming against us to try to hedge us in or to cause us problems and, and to really faint and to lose heart. And the reason that we face these enemies and these foes is because we carry the light and the power of God in us as Christians. And Satan does not want that light to manifest or that power to be in demonstration. So what he's trying to do is suppress the believer. He's trying to oppress the believer and trying to get them to lose heart. You know, the reason that he does this is he's strategic. He already has the sinner in his hands, but he has lost his grip on us. And because of that, he is after us. We're in a real battle, we have a real enemy, but through Christ we conquer. But we have to remember it's in and through Christ that we conquer and we have to stay connected to, to Christ because He is the vine, we are the branches. And that's the only way we can be fruitful, that's the only way we can maintain our spiritual health is by staying connected to Christ. So here are the things that come against us where we need to apply our faith. First of all, he says we're hard pressed. Uh, another translation says we're hemmed in on every side or hedged in on every side. But notice his conclusion to this situation is we are not crushed. You may feel the pressure, but you're not crushed. Why? Because you're being preserved and protected when you apply your faith. All right. Secondly, we're perplexed and we're perplexed, but we're not in despair. W what is that? The apostle saying to us is there there are things that are going on that just don't make any sense to us as believers you know when we read the word of god and then we see what's going on in the world you know there there's really uh, an understanding that we have that this world needs the good news it needs the gospel people are doing things uh, that are absolutely unexplainable and and we're it's perplexing but you know what we're not desperate. We're not like throwing in the towel. We're not wringing our hands. Oh my gosh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? No, we have a spirit of faith and we believe that even in these perplexing times, even in these times when we're pressed, that faith sustains us and we have victory through the faith. Then he said, you know, as a Christian, you're going to be persecuted. There's going to be times where, you know, people come at you. They come at me. Why? Because we carry a spirit of faith. And it reveals, it reveals the lost condition of the sinner. And sometimes, you know, they don't want to deal with their sin, so they come after the message that the messenger is bringing. They come after and persecute the messenger. But don't worry about it. Scripture says rejoice and count yourself worthy to fall into the category of others who have gone before us. And then last of all, he said, in this world, and because you have flesh, and because you have an enemy, there are going to be times where we're struck down. And, and that's an interesting statement there. I mean, there's a physical striking down of an individual, and then there's the striking down or the condemning or the belittling of someone's life or their faith. And you could experience both. In some parts of the world, they're physically struck down. In other parts, their message is struck down and minimized, and they try to shut off the avenues. But listen, we have a spirit of faith. So what do we do? We believe and we speak. Regardless of what's going on around us, what's happening to us, we have a spirit of faith. We believe and we speak. This will allow you and I not to lose heart, but to be strong and courageous. As always, thank you for spending a few minutes with me. Please comment and share. Let's get this message out to encourage others in the faith. God bless you.